Hello friends, once again welcome to my YouTube channel, Socio Critic. Those who didn't subscribe, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next videos. So I am Prashant Kumar. So we are discussing about 10th standard social science and that today let us discuss about Indian industries, the 10th lesson of the geography. So industry immediately we think about a big factories etc and here industries are different types small scale industry medium scale industry large scale industry etc so here we have to discuss about uh, large scale industries especially for the economic development of a nation industrial contribution is a big one it provide many employment opportunities and the gdp increases export increases etc so let's discuss about that yeah. So, first of all, let us discuss about the meaning and importance of this industry. What is industry? The conversion of raw materials into usable products is known as manufacturing industry. Whatever the raw materials we get, converting that one into finished goods, usable goods, usable products. So, that is manufacturing industry and play important role in the economic progress so this in these industries so example uh, conversion of raw material uh, you can say a uh, cotton we can convert that into cloth yeah sugar cane into sugar iron ore into steel see that is the conversion of raw material into finished goods and uh, these industries play important role in the economic progress of a nation reduces the reliance on primary product and imported goods so we don't have to uh, depend on these things and uh, uh, we can produce the goods here itself helps to increase the national and per capita income national income increases because business increases tax they will get and with that people their income increases, employment opportunities increase and their income increases, per capita income increases. And earn foreign exchange, many goods we export to other countries, as a result foreign exchange increases. And that is beneficial to the economic development of a nation. Create employment opportunities, many people they will get employment opportunities. Industrialization especially very important for the nation or the country which is having more population. And increase. GDP and standard of living. Gross domestic production will increase and standard of living when the employment opportunity the people get their income increases. When income increases the standard of living increases. Their way of life will change. When we have money in our pocket see how we live. When we have money with us the lifestyle is different. When we don't have money our life is different. So employment opportunity play a very important role. To provide employment opportunity, industries play a very important role and reduce the pressure on agriculture. So, for example, one acre of land for that to work in that land, two people enough. But in the rural area, five people depend on that. So the excess, the pressure on agriculture. So if these people, extra three people, if they get job opportunity or employment opportunity in industries, see the pressure on the agriculture decreases. Yes. So in this way, so it will help to improve the standard of living. So this is about the importance of agriculture. Now, what are the factors affecting the localization of industries? To locate industry, which factors are important? Supply of raw material. Without raw material, it is not possible. Like food to the industry. That one. And supply of power. That is energy drink. Uh, energy necessary. Power and system. Without that, industry is definitely can't run. Transport and communication, road system, it's very important. To bring the raw materials, to take the raw, uh, finished goods to the market, and to bring the workers from the residential area to uh, the working area and take them back. So, for all this, transport necessary and communication also necessary. Capital. Without money, no one can start the industries. It's capital important. Market facility, everything we have, raw material we have, capital we have, supply of power we have, transport communication we have. 
everything ready we produce the good if we don't have market it's of no use so market is important demand important so we have to get the market if you produce the goods here the market is far away it's very difficult the cost of production will increase okay uh, transport charges will increase if we have market in the place so very easily we will get the profit and labor and water supply cheap labor important one in highly populated countries it is very easy labor important one and water supply also very important without it in south not possible so as a result of this most of the industries we can see on the bank of the river and ideal climate important one if the climate is against to that industry then definitely it is not possible ideal climate important one. government policy also very important if the government is not ready to give permission then no one can start the industry so government policy also important so to establish the okay, localization uh, of industries transport land power raw material labor capital market all these things important okay next total india was divided into uh, eight industrial zones yeah so like in the physiography they divided the physiographical division four divisions they made of indian mountain northern plain where peninsula plain and coastal region island like that divided no? so same way industries depending upon the location of industries the total india was divided into eight industrial zones it's very important one and which are the industrial zones the first one hugli kolkata region and mumbai pune region second Ahmedabad Vadodar region Madurai Coimbatore Bangalore region Chota Nagpur Plate region Delhi Meerut region Visakhapatnam Guntur region Kollam Tiruvananthapuram region see here Delhi Meerut region here this area comes industry is concentrated in these areas eight areas Ahmedabad Vadodar region in here comes Mumbai Pune belt see here many industries in the section industries in here ahmedabad other and mumbai pune and kollam tiruvananthapuram in kerala bangalore tamil nadu is in this belt and visakhapatnam guntur region chota nagpur region many industries are here actually rural of india i will say this one and uh, is hogli region yeah uh, hogli kolkata region so like this eight regions they made so by looking at the map easily we can understand Okay. so these are industrial regions next let us discuss about the major industries of india important industries we have to discuss so in the important industries uh, i think uh, the, on the basis of all other industries it is the base which one iron and steel industry iron and steel industry is very important basis and Uh, many industries like uh, engineering the industry locomotive industry machine industry uh, machine tools industry automobile industry or agriculture equipment industry everything depend on iron and steel industry so iron and steel industry is uh, the basic one yeah and uh, uh, it is the most important metal based industry in india yes and iron and steel industry in india was started in 1874 at kulti in west bengal at west bengal uh, they started actually before that meharali iron pillar you know that one, very old one the best example uh, uh, for the art of smelting uh, which we know many years in ancient time itself in india for that best example is iron pillar at meharali yeah, still it is not got rust so nice it is that is the technology what we had in india but in the modern uh, uh, iron and steel industry which started in 1874 at kulti in west bengal the credit for modern iron and steel industry goes to j n tata and he started iron and steel uh, tata iron and steel in company in 1907 at sakchi in jamshedpur yeah So Tata industry very famous one, yeah. And the factors of location of iron steel industry to locate the iron steel industry, which factors important? So they are raw material, definitely necessary. 
Cooking coal is the super coal that is important for the iron steel industry. To smell the iron ore. Railway transport important. Bulk uh, uh, iron ore is they have to transport. So railway transport important. Hey, we know that's and port facility important. Then here's the port. So if you look at this, uh, see you can see most of the industrial areas on the coastal areas, near to coastal area, port facility, only Delhi is far away. Okay. And uh, plenty of water supply important. For the industry is water very important. Cheap labor, capital and local market. So these are important factors for the location of iron and steel industry. Next, major iron and steel industries of India. In India, some important iron and steel industries are there. So actually, the 14 integrated iron and steel plants are there in India, in that four are private and others are public sector. Okay. So which are the private uh, sector industries, let us see. Uh, and actually in the uh, iron steel industry, uh, if you go inside, it's very nice to see that uh, hot iron, uh, smelting, smelted iron, uh, it's very nice to see the color red and yellowish color. And the first one, Tata and Iron Steel, uh, Tata Iron and Steel Company, Tisco at Sakchi, uh, first one I told, uh, by the private, so Jamshedpur at Jharkhand is important. And Jindal Vijayanagara Steel Limited, JVSL at Toranagallu in Ballari, Ballari Steel Plant, JVSL. And Ispat Iron Steel Limited at Dholvi, Ratnagiri district in Maharashtra. And Dubari Steel Plant at Gopalpur in Odisha. So these are the four private sector industries. Next, the public sector industry is very important one, uh, dear friends. You have to learn the students. You have to learn this very important for the examination point. Indian Iron Steel Company is co at Burnpur in West Bengal. Vishweshwaraya Iron Steel Industry, actually Badravati Iron Steel Industry, and afterwards named as Vishweshwaraya Iron Steel Industry, VISL at Badravati. Hindustan Steel Limited at Bilai, Durg district in Chhattisgarh. Hindustan Steel Limited again at Rurkela Sundargara district at Odisha. Again Hindustan Steel Limited at Durgapur in West Bengal. Three Hindustan Steel Limiteds. Bakaro Steel Plant at Bakaro in Jharkhand. Under the ages of uh, Russia we started there. The Salem Steel Plant at Salem in Tamil Nadu. And Vishakhapatnam, Vishakhapatnam Steel Plant VSP in Andhra Pradesh. Daitari steel plant at Daitari near Paradvi, Par, Paradvip in Odisha. Tata steel plant at Kalinganagar in Odisha. So these are the important iron steel industries uh, under public sector in India. In addition to that, there are 199, 199 mini steel plants in India we have. Yeah. India is the eighth largest steel producing country in the world. So we can understand how much India developed. Steel is the basis for the construction of bridge, for the construction of dam, for the construction of buildings. Iron and steel important. So the country's development, how the country is developing to measure how much iron and steel they are using in that country. That one they will take as a measure product. So we have to uh, develop the country. So for that purpose, this much industries, 14 uh, major industries, iron steel industries established in India. So this is about iron steel industry. Still more industries we have to discuss in the next video. Uh, I definitely assure that in recently I will upload and uh, you can get the remaining uh, industries. So thank you, thank you very much for listening to me.